So today's topic is maps, and as we frequently uh, do, you know, when we're confronted with something that we don't understand in Java, we're going to look at the Java doc together. Um, and hopefully, this is something that is starting to get more familiar to you. Uh, I can't, um, you know, make too many uh, excuses about how this is formatted, but Java docs actually uh, fairly useful. There's a certain approach that you have to take to reading it, where you're not, get, you know, do, don't get too sucked into the little nitty gritty details. Um, but you know, at a high level. Uh, there's still some really interesting information here. So what is a map? Um, this says an object that maps keys to values. A map cannot contain duplicate keys. Each key maps at most to one value. So a map establishes a mapping between keys and values. Now we've used um, kind of a special case of a map in the past. Arrays are a special case of a map. And an array is a map but the keys must be integers and they must be contiguous starting from zero up to some number. Um, other than that, you know, on some level an array is a certain type of map. So if you can think of sort of a map as a more general purpose array. Uh, with an array, my keys had to be integers and they had to be in a range from zero to the size of the array. Now I'm removing that restraint. So my keys can be anything I want. I can use a map to map from strings to strings, from integers to strings, from essentially any Java object to any other type of Java object. Let's look at some of the methods, sort of the core methods here. Um, and so the, the, the two core methods here are really uh, methods that establish a mapping. So that's called put. This is, maps are also, like we saw with the list, a parameterized interface in Java, meaning that they take two type parameters. Remember a list, when we created one, inside those triangle brackets, let me scroll up to the top here. Inside those triangle brackets, when we created a list, we put one type. That's the type that we were going to store in that list, and the Java compiler would help enforce that for us. With a map, we actually need to tell it two pieces of information. What are the type of the keys, and what are the type of the values? So you'll see throughout this documentation, capital K is used as the type of the key, and capital V is used as the type of the value. So let's look at you know our first important map function. There's quite a, you know again there's quite a few methods in here, but there's only a couple that you're going to use on a regular basis. Um, so we have put. Uh, put establishes a new mapping. Um, so put says, hey map, save this mapping from this key to this value. Uh, get retrieves that mapping. So once I've set up a mapping in the map. I can then get it. Again, this is not that different than an array, right? When I use bracket indication, uh, notation on an array, it's sort of like put. I'm establishing a mapping between an integer and whatever I save in the array. In a map, that integer can now be any object. So get returns the mapping for that key if one exists, otherwise it returns null. Uh, probably the other uh, most useful method here, um, there's, a re there's replace, which you know you don't have to use, put will do the same thing. Uh, there's also remove. So if I want to delete an entry from the map, I can call remove. Now remove doesn't have an analog with an array, right? Because when I set the size of an array, I'm essentially establishing all the keys that I'm allowed to use. But with the map, it's more flexible. Essentially, I can establish the keys that I use in the map over time. That's one of the things that makes it so useful. So those are kind of the, the, the ones that we're going to focus on. There's also a, a sort of a useful helper method here uh, that's called get or default. And the nice thing about this is that normally get returns null if that key isn't mapped in that map yet. Uh, get or default allows you to pass a different value. So that can be useful in certain situations and we'll see how to do that um, I think on some of the problems that we work on together. Okay, so this is, you know, high level view, a map establishes a mapping between keys and values. The keys can be any Java object, the values can be any Java object. In order to be a map, I have to let you set up new mappings, which I do using put. I have to let you retrieve the values for existing mappings, which I do using get. And then I can also remove mappings, which I do using remove. 